Back with Bobby and JJ Radio. Uh, we've had an incredible show with Mr. Alan Warwick. He is our city councilman of District 2. Uh, we also have Ephraim Varga, which is a developer in the downtown East area. Um, let's talk about this project. I mean, we mentioned it earlier in the show, but it's, it's, it's a huge development that I think is going to change that, the facade, the face of that area, and it's Essex. We're talking about eight acres, and it's how many blocks south of of um, the Alamo Dome is it? I'd say five blocks. About five blocks south. Five I mean, blocks. from there you can see the Alamo Dome. Um, and so you've seen, Alan, this huge turnaround from a Dignity, how do I say Digni- Dignity? Dignity Hill. Dignity Hill. So yeah, I was, I've been saying it right all along. Have you? Yeah. Dignity Hill and Government Hill, you've seen, you've seen some changes come, right? Definitely. Uh, they just got listed as two of the hottest neighborhoods for young professionals in right. uh, San Antonio. Uh, Living Magazine, and I, th- I think that's great, but we want not just young professionals to move into the neighborhood. We want to make it uh, approachable for everyone to move in the area. But I think projects like Essex change the whole dynamic of east, west, north, south. It's just Essex, because you don't say the Pearl is the northeast central mm-hmm. part of downtown. Right. It's, it's just the Pearl. And yeah. I think Essex is going to be the same thing. The Essex downtown, the Pearl is downtown. You know, Southtown is right there on the edge of downtown. Right. Yeah, and I think like 10 years ago when I was growing up, that was not considered downtown. It was called the east side, right? Right. And here about five, six, seven years ago, I started hearing like, oh, people are buying these houses and, and they're renovating them. I'm like, why? I didn't get it. And me and JJ had a big argument, like, oh, we should invest there. I'm like, nah, you can Told go you. and do it. But little by little, like, they were all creeping up, and, like, they're selling for three, four times of what they were back then. So, yeah, we should have done it. I should have listened. Yeah. I apologize. That's the last time. That's the last time you questioned me. <laughs> um, but, it, but like you said, it's, it turns into this living, breathing thing. Like the, like you said, the Pearl is now an area that um, is it's, it's, it's like a landmark. Like, right. when, people, it's, it, when people come... To visit San Antonio, they're like, "Well, I, I gotta go to Sea World. Right. I gotta go to Fiesta Texas and the Riverwalk. And then, I, if if you're a foodie or if you want to oh, yeah. get some kind of a, you know, something really have like a more of a modern flavor of, of, of San Antonio, you, I mean, you're at the Pearl. Definitely, definitely. I mean, that has become such an icon. And, and if you meet people that have been to other cities, they know that there's nothing like it anywhere else. Right. And, and I think what uh, Ephraim is proposing to do as far as the, the vertical garden or vertical farm and, and putting that in the center of, of housing and really creating uh, a town center um, that really didn't exist before, I, I look forward to that, that sense of community that's going to be developed from that type of project. So Ephraim, so I know that what is what is your vision for this? Like, walk me through what's going to be in the in the in the, in the lower area, because it, it's going to have that same pearl feel. But you, yeah, we'll but, have. But the we same. joke that it's it's going to be way better. It is going to be way better. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, pearl is great. You know, all the venues they're awesome. The restaurants, everything. Um, where I think that they didn't do a good job is design. Sure. And that's what we're really focusing on is the whole design of what SX is going to be. Um, yeah, so we just uh, signed the contract with Clayton and Little. They've started the schematics right. and the massing, which will be done in uh, first week of October. That's awesome. And so, what do you feel about the design that that'll really set it apart in your in your in your eyes? We're not just gonna have blocks, right? You know, we're, we're gonna have the whole facade and everything. It's gonna be, you know, architecturally nicely designed. Sure. So it's gonna be easy looking to the eye instead of just. Well, you know, I think at the pro they really try to keep as much of the the can plan as much as possible. But you're you're knocking down and building up. So yeah, so yeah. Th- that's another great part about uh, SX is that we we're starting with a clean canvas. We have nothing to save. We could demo. So there's everything. no restrictions. You you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. So Alan, you, you spent some time in DC, right? Yeah. I, I've been trying to convince them to have more like an Easter market feel for like you know that food court. Definitely. Well, that's uh, that's definitely a unique scenario. The only thing that you really have to be cognizant of is there are historic homes on both sides of the freeway. Right. So you have homes that were built in 1910, 1920s that right. surround the area. So how do we make that an inviting area on the outside as well as on the inside? Right. So I think we have the inside and we know what's going to happen there. But uh, on the outside, how does it react or interact uh, with the neighborhood that's there that it's kind of creating an icon around. I think it's going to turn into the Pearl area where like now everything up and down, you know, uh, Grayson is, is every house is going to be a bar or a restaurant. 
I'd, I'd love to see that, and I think that's a huge opportunity for uh, new small businesses in our city. So for the great stuff that Mr. Allen Warg is doing and for your support, you should contact him at 210-207-7278. Again, that's 207-7278. Definitely our favorite uh, councilman here in San Antonio. It was a great show. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye.